whenever a new deal comes out, whenever it's announced that a player got a new contract, we always hear the max value first. We, we hear the highest that that contract could potentially be. We've seen it so many times, again, like with Patrick Mahomes. It was said that the, the, the Chiefs signed Patrick Mahomes to a 10-year, $500 million contract. And all of us were like, whoa, 500 million, that's half a billy, baby. But, of course, there are a lot of stipulations and incentives and whatnot and escalators to get him to 500 mil, but it's unlikely that he hits all of them. Like, one of them was being in the Super Bowl every year. And even though it does feel like Patrick Mahomes is pretty much in the Super Bowl every year, he hasn't been. So he's not really going to get the $500 million, but he will certainly get uh, most of it. But with Odell Beckham Jr., when it was announced that the Ravens signed Odell Beckham Jr. to a one-year, $18 million contract, a lot of people were like, whoa, that's, that's a lot of money. But we had to wait because we got to find out what the guarantees are uh, and, and what the real money is that Odell Beckham Jr. is getting. And when it came out that 15 mil, that 18 mil was guaranteed, it was still like, whoa. But now the extra details, the exact incentives of this deal they came out, so now we know how much the Ravens are really paying Odell Beckham Jr., and if it's really likely that he'll hit these incentives or not, honestly, it's not a bad deal at all for Odell, and he got all the motivation in the world to get to go from 15 mil to 18 mil. Now, let, let's, let's look at the details. So, this is from Mike Florio. He said, uh, per a source with knowledge of the terms, Beckham can earn an extra $1 million dollars based on three categories. So that's one million per category. And see, because again, 15 mil guaranteed. So that's out of the way. 15 mil, we ain't got to worry about that. But how does it go from 15 to 18? So one mil based on three categories, reception, receiving yards, and receiving touchdowns. So receptions is how many catches. Uh, receiving yards is how many yards you got from all the catches that you made. Uh, and then receiving touchdowns is... How many touchdowns you scored catching the ball? Not running the ball, not throwing the ball, because we know Odell, do, he can do both of those things. So if it's an end around and Odell runs it in for a touchdown, that's not a receiving touchdown. If Odell Beckham Jr. decides he wants to be QB2 and launch that ball down the field like James Prochet, that's not a receiving touchdown for him either. So those things are important. But anyway, it says the formula for receptions goes like this. For receptions... One, he gets 250000 if he gets 30 catches. So you get 30 catches, boom, you get an extra $250,000. Uh, two, he gets 500000 for 40 catches. So you get 10 more catches than the 30, and you get 500000 So that's the half a meal. Three, he gets 750000 for 50 catches. So you get 50 catches. Forget about the first two. Or you add the first two together, actually. You get 50 catches, though, you get 750000 But... If you get 60 catches, 60 catches, then you get a meal. You get a meal. You get 60 catches, there goes a meal. So that goes from 15 mil to 16 mil if you get 60 catches. But now is a kicker because there's a little twist that actually makes it even better for Odell Beckham Jr. See, Ray Ravens must have really loved Odell Beckham Jr. Because they're like, look, man, we're we, we going to put this contract in a way. We, we want you to earn these incentives almost because it says or. So, again. Um, for 30 catches, 250,000, for 40 catches, 500,000, for 50 catches, 750,000, or for 60 catches, he gets a meal. Or if he leaves the team in receptions, he gets the meal. So he could have 44 receptions, but if everybody else, if, if, if the next highest person on the team um, in catches has 43, then Odell gets his meal. If he leaves a team of receptions, he gets a meal based on, on, on the reception. So it's like, man, that's, that's great. That's great for him. So then the next part for receiving yardage is this. If he gets 250 receiving yards, he gets 250,000. If he gets 500 yards, then he gets 500,000. If he gets 750 yards, he gets, you guess, to 750,000. And if he gets 1,000 yards, then he gets a meal. So that's, that's it. That's that second meal right there. So all he got to do is get a stack, get 1,000 yards, and he gets a meal, a million dollars. 
add it to his whatever, add it to the 15 mil guaranteed. But again, another kicker. Same thing as before, or if he leads the team in receiving yards. So again, if Odell Beckham Jr. has 998 yards, just to use it as an example, and the next closest receiver has 997 yards receiving, Odell Beckham Jr. gets his meal. He gets his extra million dollars. If Odell Beckham Jr. had 500 receiving yards, and the next closest receiver had... 499. Odell Beckham Jr. gets his extra million dollars in cash. So, again, the way that they set this thing up, it's like, hey, Odell, no, no, hit these incentives, please, please. So, it's like, it's a nice deal with nice incentives, and it's like, it's, it's, it's a motivating deal, too. Like, hey, you just got to show up. If you show up, oh, yeah, you, you'll be straight. And then he got to get the ball thrown his way, too. And hopefully in a more pass-oriented offense. It's still incorporating the run. Not forgetting about the run, but just being more diverse with the passing game. This should be something that they should be able to do. And, and of course, with health as well. That's the biggest thing right there. So then, the last one for receiving touchdowns uh, is this. It's 250000 for three. So you catch three touchdowns, you get under 250 k Cool. You catch five touchdowns, you get 500 k You catch seven touchdowns, you get 750 k But for one meal, you got to catch nine touchdowns. So nine touchdowns gets you the meal. That's a, now, that, one, that one's a little harder now. Now, it is 17 games. It's a passing league. Uh, again, Ravens would have to change a lot of stuff for Odell to get nine receiving touchdowns. Who's the last receiver that had a good amount of touchdowns like that for the Ravens? Was it Hollywood in 2019? How much did Hollywood have in 2019? I don't even remember. But I'm really trying to think of the last time a receiver had like a good amount of touchdowns for the Ravens. I can't think of it right now. And maybe somebody slipped my mind that I just, I'm really forgetting about, but I'm sure y'all will correct me in the comment section. Uh, but anyway, um, so again, for the receiving touchdowns, 250K for three. Uh, five receiving touchdowns, he gets 500K. He gets 750K for seven receiving touchdowns. Or if he gets nine receiving touchdowns, he gets a meal. Or, I'm sure you guessed it by now, if he leaves the team in receiving touchdowns, he gets the meal. So again, the structure of this is great. It's great for Odell. It's great for the Ravens. Because, I mean, with, with, with teams, when it comes to these incentives, they don't want to pay the incentives. That's why they throw them in there. Because they're incentives. And they're like, all right, we get to keep more of our money if the players don't hit these incentives. But at the same time, you got to look at it like, oh, well, if he does hit those incentives, that'll be good for us. Because that'll mean we'll have, we're having more success. Well, it'll most likely mean that we're having more success through the air. He's scoring more touchdowns. He's getting more yards. He's getting more catches. He's producing. So it's a win-win for both parties when it comes to this. So I, I do appreciate the way that this contract is structured. Um, again, it is it's big money. The guarantee part is big money. But with the non-guarantee part, Odell got a chance to make the money even bigger. Love y'all, team. Keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. And we out.